if you would have told me a year ago that my favorite movie of 2021 would be Nicolas Cage trying to find his pig, I would have believed you because that's an amazing concept. Long story short, this movie is incredible. So if you watch the trailer, I suggest you don't, but if you have watched the trailer, it kind of looks like it would be Nicolas Cage as a John Wick chef, almost, where he's angry and he's gonna kick a bunch of people's butts. This is not that movie. Luckily, I went into this movie knowing absolutely nothing other than Nicolas Cage is in it and he wants to find his pig. And I highly suggest that's what you go into it as well. I don't want to ruin this movie for a lot of people, but if you've seen the trailer, Nicolas Cage is a former chef who has a truffle pig and he lives in the middle of nowhere hunting for truffles. And somebody steals his pig and he wants it back. That's the movie. The, the, the movie is shot like it's a thriller where the whole, like the first 30 minutes, you're like, oh man, he's gonna, he's gonna give it to him. He's gonna find his pig and he's gonna, he's gonna punch some people in the face. No, 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 no. This is a ridiculously powerful movie about death and grief and finding new life and trying to get over your past. Holy cow, this, or holy pig, whatever. This movie is incredible. Nicolas Cage, uh, I am a ride or die Nicolas Cage fan. Any of his movies I will watch regardless of how tr much trash it is. This is his best performance since leaving Las Vegas when he won the Oscar. His performance is incredible. He doesn't really say much, but when he does, it, oh my goodness, like you, it, it's just a, he's a broken man. It doesn't help that he's covered in blood and dirt the entire time and it does not wash it off the whole movie. Him and Alex Wolf are so incredible together. It's kind of like a comedy duo, but not funny, if that makes sense. Like it's like a buddy, it's like a buddy movie that has some jokes here and there, but both of them together are wonderful. There's a scene in this movie that actually gave me chills. And as I was watching it, I looked at my goosebumps and I was like, oh, this is, this movie is something different. It, Nicolas Cage is talking to a, another chef about how he should have followed his dreams and oh it, it, the, the scene doesn't cut it doesn't cut away from the chef's face as Nicolas Cage is giving this like very quiet simple monologue I knew right there I was like this movie is this movie is great it doesn't hold your hand at all it, it like sprinkles in information here and there and you got to piece it together it's almost like a mystery like like in the trailer it gives off that Nicolas Cage is a chef but you don't figure that out in the actual movie until like the second act. I love this movie so much. I want to watch it again. It is, it's a hard movie to watch. It is very, very sad. It is Nicolas Cage's best performance. But I, the more I think about this movie, the more I love it. It deserves so much love. And I just looked at the box office and as of right now, it has not made a million dollars. It's not doing well. It's a very small movie. You need to see Pig. Everyone needs to see Pig. Pig is a nine and a half oinks out of 10. I loved this movie. Love, love, loved it. I loved it. It was wonderful. And I may be biased because I worship Nicolas Cage movies, but his performance is genuinely amazing. Granted, he's always amazing, but like everything else about this movie is also incredible. The climax of this movie isn't a giant action scene. It's him cooking in slow motion. But there's so much emotion that's going into the scene. It'll make you cry just by him making scallops or whatever he was doing. I think it was chicken. I don't know. I don't know food very well. 